my name is Lindy Sherries and I used to be a Sangoma. In this channel, I talk about everything, guys. Abokorobela, the secrets that we were taught not to share with you guys, how we used to trick you guys, the spirits, how everything works when you go to a Sangoma for consultation, Yamatambo. So whether you believe in God or don't believe in God, please check out this channel so we can talk about it. If you believe in God, let's share the gospel. If you don't believe in God, you can check out the channel too. I want to hear your opinion and I want people to actually really share their opinion not insulting me without saying why thank you and i'll see you on my channel hello everybody thank you so much for joining me on my channel my name is solomon nizangi shams it's so good to be with you yes i changed my glasses you know i've been wearing the other one for quite a while so i got a new pair of glasses i'm a bit short-sighted so when it's like uh, distance uh i struggle to see things from uh from far but good to, good to be with you guys i'm back here i'm i was away for a little bit and good to be back that's why i couldn't make a couple of videos because i was very busy away out of the country but i'm good uh and i'm back right now thank you so much for being here thank you for all the guys who've been supporting me financially uh towards my my legal fees that i need to pay alf lukau uh right now i still need more money uh, my lawyer has been trying to drag the case because they came back and demanding more money from about 300,000 rand. They took it to about 400,000 rand just to tell you how these people are. But God, God will provide. And some of you guys have been sending me money here and there, and I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much. Please, if you want to contribute, if you want to help out, you know, you can do that via PayPal, Solomon Talks at Yahoo.com. Uh, you can do that via PayPal, solomontalks.yahoo.com. You can also do that through my Nigerian account, uh, a GT Bank account number. You can always go back to it. Or if you're in South Africa, I need about, I think at, at the go now, I need about $7,000. That is without them going back and trying to increase the cost, right? You see, no matter what sort of persecution we go through, we must always believe when we're standing for the truth, we must always stand for the truth. I'm not going to be intimidated by first the same guy took me to court and then took me to prison. I'm not going to be intimidated by that. I would stand on the truth and what God said uh, to keep declaring for his people. Well, thank you so much, guys. So I want to share uh, some little just update about uh, a bishop called Bishop Gumbi. Bishop Gumbi is one of those all-time traveling evangelists through the Assemblies of God Church. He is renowned. He is, I think, in his 70s right now. He's renowned across South Africa, especially for conservative Christians. Uh, and also a lot of other bishops and pastors and prophets, they look up to him in a lot of ways, right? So... I had said I was going to say something about him, but when the time is right, I'm going to come here and say things about him because there are allegations against him. I sat down with somebody who told me a whole lot that happened to her, you know, uh, claiming he did certain things to her. Right? So, but when the time is right, I'm going to bring that on. But today I'm just sharing about Gumbi. Gumbi himself uh, is currently on wheelchair, on a wheelchair. He lost his, I think his left foot leg, actually, not just foot, to uh, amputation. I think he's been struggling with diabetes. Uh, so now he's been handicapped and his movement is restricted. This is a man that traveled crisscross South Africa, Southern Africa, Lesotho, Swaziland, doing crusades. You remember all those tent crusades, right? So he's well-renowned around here. Uh, younger pastors, they give him a lot of accolades. And he lost his leg. So, but then just after he lost his leg, about two months later, he lost his son. I'm not sure what happened to the son, but he lost his son. This is the son right here. And this is him with the father. The father, Gumbi, is the one in the white heart. Uh, before his 
leg was amputated and that's the son so he lost this son uh to he was sick not sure how he got sick or what what the reason was and it is sad um because obviously the old man must be going through a lot losing his son uh you know first losing his leg and then now losing his son but there was a funeral that happened for the son and at the funeral he actually said quite a bit of stuff and i would wonder our south african speakers if you understand uh, is he zulu or is he sued to uh to please interpret for us what he actually said in this video uh he was sitting in his wheelchair right right in front of his son's coffin his son's casket and this is what he had to say <laughs> Yeah, so that's Bishop Gumbi in church, obviously, trying to even create some humor right in front of his son's casket. I'll play it again one last time. If you, a South African, you understand what he was saying, the jokes or whatever he was cracking, please make sure you uh, put that in the comment section. <laughs> So, Bishop Gumbi right there. Uh, and he lost his son, like I said. Now, losing the son is definitely something that is going to be devastating for any sort of family, creating pain that is just unimaginable, right? And it is important for us as we prepare ourselves. Transition or passing away, dying is part of who we are in this body. But there's a greater place to go to. And that's where we have to focus. That's where we have to um, really tell ourselves we want to focus on that. And we want to begin to live a life here that when we stand before God, when we are asked to account for our lives here, we would be able to proudly and boldly say we did our best. We want to hear that well done, good and faithful servant. No matter who you are, whether you will come from, your father is a bishop, your father is a prophet, you come from this family, you come from that family, you come... It doesn't really matter. You know, sometimes you see men of God, bishops or pastors losing their children and people now, their faith now gets affected because they were like, but this man prays for others to get healed. Why wasn't his daughter? Why wasn't his son healed? You cannot depend on somebody else's faith. You have to depend on your faith through your understanding and through your faith in scriptures. That's what it is. It's as simple as that. So we have to have that sort of understanding. It is important for us to have that sort of understanding. That way we would be able to understand God better and embrace him as that God that we trust. A lot of people, you know, they use, you allow to, 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 you know, 
uh, their fate to depend on some other people's fates. But, you know, like I said, Dr. Gumbi, you know, for a lot of people, they their fate depend on him. It's okay to get encouragement from other, the fate of others, to get support from the fate of others. But at the end of the day, what is God saying to you? That's what is more important. Anyway, just wanted to share this out and put it out there. Thank you very much, guys. Really appreciate you. Uh, please make sure you subscribe and make sure that you follow me on Facebook, Solomon Izang Shams. Make sure you subscribe and share the video. God bless you. See you again in a bit.